If you own or plan to own an older Mercedes diesel engine, at some time you're going to have to deal with glow plugs. They, they kind of go hand in hand. In fact, I've often said that glow plugs are kind of the Achilles heel of a diesel engine because when they fail, um, <laughs> you know, your engine's not going to start. And, or when the relay fails that, that powers the glow plugs, your engine isn't going to start. These things will run, you know, they'll run with the alternator fail, they'll run with bad fuel, but boy, glow plugs, it's, it's a different matter. And, uh, you know, I, I'm convinced that a lot of these old diesels are running around with kind of okay glow plugs. And it's not always just the glow plug. Sometimes it's the carbon buildup inside those pre-chambers. That's the hole that the glow plug goes into that can be a problem as well. You know, we're really proud to be a distributor of the Monarch glow plugs. This, these are like the last of a breed. Yes, they're still made in Germany. Even a lot of the other glow plugs, so-called factory type glow plugs, I won't mention the manufacturers, you know what I'm talking about. They're made in places like Spain or Turkey or now they're even being farmed out to China. But the Monarch glow plugs that we sell exclusively on our website, they are still made in Germany. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take on a little problem with this diesel right here. It starts and runs a little rough, you know, and kind of shakes, and you can tell it's kind of missing for about 30 seconds, and then it smooths out. And that's almost always a sign that either one or two of the gold plugs are weak, or possibly there's excessive carbon uh, buildup. So if you're, if you're messing around with your old diesel, and you're having hard starting problems. Now, I'm not saying that hard starting is only related to glow plugs. It could be bad compression, it could be valve adjustment, it could be plugged filters. But if the engine starts okay and runs rough for a while before it smooths out, it might be a valve, a tight valve adjustment problem, but, but a lot of times it's glow plugs. And I have a number of resources on my website. I have advanced gold plug testing PDF download manuals available. We have a lot of different kits and special tools that you can purchase to deal with your own gold plug problems. But I just want to tell you that I'm going to be filming a new video. Uh, up, to, up to this point I've only had written instructions on doing glow plug changes in these old diesels, but I'm going to be doing a video that will go step by step through the process of how to do this just yourself. This is a great DIY job, by the way. You're only gonna need a few basic hand tools. Um, I really like ratcheting box wrenches, and I'll show you the different sizes that you're going to need to do this in, in the video. But this video will be available on our website, and it will be available as a, a, a free add-on when you buy this kit. We sell the kit with the five glow plugs and the special carbon. This is a special carbon reamer that we manufacture here in our own shop. It's all steel, it's not aluminum. There's some other ones on the market that are made out of aluminum housing. And they're, they're really kind of chintzy. But this one has a steel housing and a high quality reamer so that you can get into those glow plug holes and ream the carbon out. That's really important. Don't just ever replace the glow plugs. Always, I'm gonna repeat, repeat always, Ream the carbon out during the gold plug change and you'll get a lot more efficient operation out of the gold plugs. And in many cases, we have found that the number one cause of premature glow plug failure is excess carbon in those pre-chambers. So if you're, if you're having gold plug issues or you want to learn more about gold plugs, be sure and go to my website and check out all the resources that we have available there. Go Hawks!